could you just update us on the situation with Sergio Aguero, please? Tomorrow, I think uh, we'll do a cirurgy in Barcelona with Dr. Cugat. And uh, once uh, finished the cirurgy, maybe we'll know exactly uh, the time to, to uh, Sergio will come back uh, to join us and play again with us. The suggestion is that it's not as serious as knee injuries can be, but it might be an injury that makes him a doubt for the Champions League. Is that about accurate? I don't know right now, Simon. Sorry, but I cannot answer this one. Tomorrow after cirurgy, we'll know exactly when the doctor sees uh, what uh, what uh, what he's going to see and and exactly what he has done. Um, he will tell us uh, with more accuracy what the time to to come back. Um, and just finally, from me, I know you have a lot of options to replace Aguero, but you've spoken in the past about Gabriel Jesus and the way that he applies himself when he's not always the first choice. You expect him to be able to come to the fore now in these last seven or eight games and, and really show himself for you? We, we don't have any doubts about uh, Gabriel. The only doubts we have is because uh, not one single player with this preparation that we had, can play every three days. Now it's going to happen. We have three days after Newcastle, three days. We have four days Liverpool, three days Southampton, three days uh, Brighton. So no one player of this team can play 90 minutes every three days. So of course, we have Gabriel, but we have Raheem can play in this position. We can play even Gundogan can play in this position. Bernardo can play in this position. So we have different options. Not like a striker, striker, but we can use him. Okay, we now go to uh, Mandy Henry from. P uh, can you hear me? Perfectly. Excellent. Um, how impressed have you been by the way Frank Lampard has adjusted to life as a Premier League manager? Uh, I think it was what an uh, extraordinary football player and his. And we will be an extraordinary easy and we will be an extraordinary manager. So uh, he did a, a really good season and uh, the way he played from the beginning, uh, I was delighted to watch uh, his team. I, I realized when we play against Chelsea at home, if you it was the quality of the players, I think. Uh, and historically, is is an incredible team club uh, since Roman Abramov Abramovich took over the club. So, uh, just in starting the elite from English football, European football. So, and having incredible football players in all departments, up front, in the middle, especially and back, and uh, always a. Uh, a good team and with Frank is not, not an exception. Speaking from your own experience Pep, as a young manager in a top league, what sort of challenges do you face when you're still adjusting to life as a manager? Well, when you arrive as a manager you have a passion, you have uh, no fears, you take decisions without uh, compromise, without the problems so he has done with a give opportunity with a young talent players that Chelsea had because his academy from the last five, ten years, always they were really, really well. And um, but he knows. So in the big clubs, you have to take results. Uh, uh, he's in, in, you know, when play quarterfinals, the Fair Cup in the in the in the Premier League, he's in a good position to qualify for the next season for the Champions League. Like he's one of the main targets for all the six, seven top teams in England. And uh, yeah, he make a, I think, a very good season.